The head of FEMA's flood insurance program admitted to Congress today that victims of Superstorm Sandy did not get all the money they were entitled to. FEMA has agreed to take another look at more than 140,000 claims. Sandy caused more than $65 billion in damage. 650,000 homes were damaged or destroyed. Two and a half years later, Elaine Kiana found some homeowners still face a flood of trouble. The entire ceiling has bowed. Rob Buck is describing the damage he says was caused by his contractor's neglect. It's all wet underneath there. A contractor assigned to him under a state-run Sandy recovery program. There's two feet of water in the basement. Black mold has crept up walls. And the house, which is now uninhabitable, has started to sink. Buck is among 8,300 homeowners in New Jersey's main Sandy recovery initiative known as REM, a program touted by Governor Chris Christie two years ago. I will not let anyone get in between me and the completion of this mission to restore New Jersey, to help the citizens of our state recover. But recently, scores of homeowners protested the slow pace of recovery. We sat down with a group of frustrated homeowners who say the state failed them. Honestly, I think the worst decision I made was going with this grant program. Chris Pizzina, a lawyer, says her contractor made potentially life-threatening errors with her boiler. He had taped it with duct tape. I hired my own plumber to come in to check out the work, and he knew right away that the vent was improper. Then I would have had a massive CO leak, and it very possible that it could have killed me. I figured I could trust this. I wanted to believe in this. More than two months after being told to vacate the house, Sue Elliott's assigned contractor had not started work on her home. They didn't have their proper bond. They didn't have their proper insurance. The engineering company that they hired did not ever come to New Jersey, so the plans were incorrect. Actually, on our plans, there's a picture of someone else's house. A CBS News review of the 32 state-approved REM builders found nearly half are from outside New Jersey, mainly Texas and Louisiana. Several faced lawsuits, bankruptcy, or consumer complaints claiming shoddy work. And one builder allegedly left the program last summer, but was still signing construction agreements months later. That's all supposed to be redone. Trudy Stawinski signed up with that builder last fall. Since then, she and her family have been living out of boxes, waiting for construction to begin. How has this affected your life? It just takes a toll on you, mentally, physically, financially. Buck has been living in temporary housing, including a hotel. He worries that he and his family may end up in a shelter. You live with the guilt, like, maybe I shouldn't have did this. Like, my kids, I got to look them in the eyes like, I'm sorry. This is because I made this decision. The New Jersey Sandy Recovery Division declined a request for an on-camera interview, but said in an email that all REM builders were fully vetted and selected based on their qualifications and financial capacity to complete the work. But late last year, an independent monitor found that there was not adequate due diligence in selecting pre-qualified REM builders. Charlie. Two and a half years. It's an unbelievable story. Thanks, Elaine.